mag-bake ulit tayo. Alam nyo po ba na kapag niluto mo ang butter at ang asukal, particularly your brown sugar, pag niluto mo sila together, you will achieve butterscotch. O, di ba? Ang bongga. Amoy pa lang yan. Amoy Pasko na. Pwede naman tayo mag-bake niyan ngayon kahit May. O, di ba? Kahit summer. Magtatagulan. Wala kang magawa. Let's make butterscotch bars. Super dali. So first, no, before I turn on the flame, you will see you, you don't need any mixer here. You need two pieces of 8 by 8 square pans. So meron ako ditong dalawang 8 by 8 square pans that I've lined with non-stick parchment paper, baking paper po ito. No? So nilagyan ko siya ng liner. Diba? Very simple. So that later on, I can easily remove it from the pan. No? So, dalawang piraso po ang magagawa ng isang recipe. So, let's set this aside. And then next, I'm going to turn on the flame. No? So, binuksan ko lang yung apoy. And then, into my casserola, pwede ka din namang gumamit ng kawali. I'm going to put my butter. I'm using salted butter. Basically, I'm going to cook this together with my brown sugar. I'm using just plain brown sugar. You can also use dark brown sugar. Pwede ka rin gumamit ng medyo light, no? Just make sure to use brown because you are after the molasses content. Yan yung tutulong na mas magpabango ng butterscotch bars mo. So you put your sugar here. So basically, you're going to melt the butter and the sugar together. Pag naamoy mo, naamoy butterscotch na, you can turn off the flame. Okay na yon. So, habang tinutunaw ko yung butter and sugar, hindi mo po ito lulutuin ng matagal. Ha? You just want it to melt and to blend together. Habang tinutunaw ko yan, I'm going to measure my bread flour. So, of course, I'm using my trusted flour brand, La Filipina. And today, bakit bread flour ang ginagamit ko, no? Because many of you, kasama na po ako doon, many of us, oh, di ba? Us. Sana may us. Sana may tayo. Charot. So many of us, palagi tayong, ang gusto natin sa butterscotch bars, sa mga bars na yan, makunat. So there are many ways to achieve it. And isa sa mga paraan para maging makunat ang iyong bars, yung butterscotch bar mo, yung mga brownies is to use a flour that is high in protein. Kaya ngayon, gagamit ako ng bread flour. Baka may magtatanong, hindi ba pang tinapay yan? Kaya ginagamit. Talagang pang tinapay po to. Pero ngayon, let's just do a basic product. Ang bread flour, yan na may mataas na protein content compared to your all-purpose. Nasa gitna po yun, cake flour yung may pinaka-konti. Yung protein content nito, tutulong na mas pakunatin yung iyong bars. O, di ba? Kasi protein is, uh, it provides stability. Mas nagiging stable yung kung ano man binibake mo. No? So, I'm using bread flour. Two cups. I put it into my bowl. And sa mga nagbe-bake ng mga tinapay po ng ating recipe, that I've shared before, marami sa inyo nagtatanong, where can we get good quality bread flour? Because ang bread flour, minsan, when you buy kilo-kilo, most of the time, ha, binubukbok, mabilis masira. So this is the answer to your question. You can now get the La Filipina unchlorinated bread flour. Available na po ito. So ayan, natunaw na yung aking butter, and sugar, as you can see. Alright. Next, I'm going to put my liquid glucose. Ano yung liquid glucose na yan? It's also a sugar. It's a sugar na nabibili ng ganyan. Liquid form. You can buy this from grocery stores. 
Ako po ay nakatira abroad sa mga confectionery stores may tinda din po nito. Ito yung magbibigay din ng extra kunat. So pag samahin mo yung glucose and bread flour, talagang super kunat na ng iyong bra ng brownies tuloy. Butterscotch bars. So yan, just mix this and then yung bread flour ko, lalagyan ko lang ng baking powder and baking soda. Just blend them together. Just use a wire whisk. You don't need to sift this. And then, balikan natin to. Actually, ito pwede din i-wire whisk mo. Okay? And then, into this, I'm going to put two pieces of cold eggs. Bakit malamig yung itlog? Eh, kasi mainit yung butter mo. ba? Diba? Para hindi ka na maghihintay. Kasi kung hihintayin mo palamigin pa yung ano, no, matatagalan pa. And then, into this, you put your flour. Just mix. Ganyan lang po kasimple. Hindi mo kailangan ng mixer. Eh, of course, pwede mong sabihin sa asawa mong kailangan mo ng mixer o mamili ka. Kailangan mo ng mixer o kailangan mo ng bagong Le Creuset, kagaya nitong ginagamit ko. Sa mga asawang nanonood, sa mga jowang nanonood, bigay nyo na both. ba? Diba? Give them both. Pwede namang may mixer at may Le Creuset para mas colorful. God, baka sabihin, mag-unsubscribe na nga. Mag-unsubscribe na nga kayo dyan. Diyos ko, budol yan. Kung ano-ano tinuturo. So, yan, you just mix it like that. See, until you achieve a something like this. Don't overmix. Makikita mo, nung nilagay ko yung harina, inalis ko na to, sinet aside ko na yung wire whisk. I'm just using my uh, spatula. Ayan lang. So, you have your butterscotch. Mm. Mm. Lasang butterscotch na talaga. So, now the next step is salin mo na dyan sa pans mo. Makikita mo yung mixture po talaga niya. Sticky. Okay. Ah, uh, diba? I'm sure ito ang pinakaayaw natin lahat, yung hugasin. So, next, lagyan natin ng konting added pampabongga. Spread it out first. And then, let's just put some kasoy on top. Don't worry, as it cooks, mag-flatten po ang ibabaw niyan. And just to make sure, no, na yung mga kasoy mo is talagang dumikit, you get a flat scraper, i-press mo lang na ganun, or you can just use your hands. I mean, yung dami mo naman pinapabili. Oh, just use your hands. Hindi po basta-basta didikit yan because it's high in fat. Okay, pwede wala. Ayaw ko ng kasoy. Pwede bang walnuts? Taga-Euro pa ko. Are you sure? Okay, and then just going to put it in a sheet pan. And then we bake it at a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for around 25 to 28 minutes. Okay, iiwan pero babalikan. After 25 to 28 minutes. Oh, eto. How bonga is that? After around 25 to 28 minutes, syempre, pinalamig ko na to ng konti. Otherwise, napaso ako. 
So, luto na. Look, I'm going to loosen the sides using uh, a rubber scraper. Bumili ka po nito. 30 pesos lang po to sa baking supply store. Kung social yung pwesto ng baking supply store, 50. Because you don't want to use knife. Pag knife ang ginamit mo, masisira ang baking pan mo. And bukod po doon, no? Nakakaskas niya yung aluminum particles. Hindi po healthy yon. Okay, and then you just loosen it like that. Okay, pag medyo malamig na, no? look how chewy. Oh, diba? Pag medyo malamig na yan, hindi ka na masyadong mahihirapan. Okay, hindi ko po ni ref yan. Tinapat lang po sa electric fan yan. And you can cut it. Pwede kang gumamit actually ng ruler. Or, what I'm using is a flat scraper, plastic scraper, na malaki-laki. Okay? Malaking... Ay, ang chewy po. Teka, parang kailangan kong gamitan ng knife. Kasi, yung kasoy. Look, how chewy is that? Oh, di ba? Ang chewy. Huwag nyo na pong pansinin na hindi pantay ang hiwa ko. Ang tingnan nyo na lang po is how chewy is that. Okay. Look. Oh, makikita mo, bumabakat yung daliri ko. Ganun siyang ka-chewy. Super chewy butter scotch bars. Siyempre, hindi lang dapat chewy. Dapat yummy. Tikman natin. Ay, amoy butterscotch. Ay, nako. You will thank me later and you're welcome. Ang punak po talaga. Hmm? Tingnan niyo, oh. Yung parang nabibili mong butterscotch bars. Ang susunod niyan, ikaw na yung bibilahan. O, di ba? Hindi ka nabibili. Mm. Mm. Perfection. Congratulations. Bongga lahat na. Gumawa ka na. It's really, really good. I know the next question is, teka, humunguya pa po ako. Pasensya na po. Ang kunat po kasi, I know the next question is, ganun katagal po tatagal niya? Sana forever. Pero sa baked products, walang forever. At least sa baked products, ha? Matagal po ito ng mga one month. Ilagay mo lang sa airtight container, sa sealed, and just store it inside the fridge. Kasi syempre, all natural po tayo. We'd, we're not putting any chemical preservatives. Yung mga nabibili po natin sa commercial na tumatagal ng up to six months, may konting preservatives po yun. Nasa sa inyo na po yan, pero ako, I would suggest, especially if you're a home baker, mag-bake ka muna ng ganito. Tatagal po ito ng mga one month, ipa-ref mo lang. Hindi ka po talaga magsisisi dito. Trust me. So, gumawa ka na and magbenta ka na or as early as now, ngayon tag-ulan pa lang, mag-prepare ka na for the upcoming Burr months. So I'm going to see you all soon.